This video is to demonstrate how to verify the output of an anesthetic vaporizer using the Riken FI 8000 gas analyzer. We will be using the Versa 2 anesthesia machine and the Tech 3 EX vaporizer. The Riken FI 8000 comes with a 6 inch Teflon tube with quick connects, a calcium chloride filter, and a three foot Teflon tube with a quick connect and a sampling T on the other end. We will also be using the Riken gas scavenging kit, which includes a five foot quarter inch silicone tube and a five foot 19 millimeter hose that are teed together to connect to the clean air canister. First, we will attach the Riken gas scavenging kit to the clean air canister as shown. It is important to note that the canister should either be suspended or laid on its side so that the gases that are not absorbed can flow through the bottom portion of the canister. Next, we need to remove the male end cap from the outlet side of the vaporizer and attach the gas sampling T. Make sure the T is snug inside the manifold to keep any anesthetic gases from escaping. Then we will attach the 19 millimeter tube to the 15 millimeter side of the gas sampling T, as shown. If it is difficult to get to the outlet side of the vaporizer to remove the end cap, another option is to connect to the fresh gas outlet using the other side of the gas sampling tee, the 15 millimeter tapered side, and attach it as shown. Next, we will remove the black protective caps from the calcium chloride filter. and attach the six inch Teflon tube to one side, make sure it locks, and then attach the three foot Teflon tube to the other side and also make sure that it locks into place with the quick connects. We are now ready to turn on the Riken FI 8000 and get the air cowl. To do this, we will press the ref cow button along with pressing and holding down the power button at the same time. The unit will flash red and beep and it will go through a couple of screens to make sure everything is okay and then the setup mode screen will appear. We will now press the enter button twice. Notice the SPE at the top of the screen is flashing and then we are in SIVO and O2. We want to be in isofluorine. We will arrow down and now isofluorine and O2 appear. Notice the isofluorine is the agent we will be verifying and O2 is the carrier gas. In order to get to a different anesthetic agent, it will be necessary to arrow up until you get to the anesthetic agent and carrier gas being verified. We will now hit enter. We will arrow up. To number six, start measure. We will now press enter and it says start measure yes or no yes is enter we will hit enter again 
and our air cal value is 1.65. On this particular unit, they do not give you a scale of air cal values, but just note that isofluorane in O2 is 1.65 on the air cal, and sevofluorane is 1.70. With the Riken meter still on and the air cal value being displayed, we will now connect the sampling line, Teflon sampling line, to the gas in port and make sure it snaps and locks in place. We will now connect the blue scavenging tube to the gas out port. On this particular unit, there are only two ports, gas in and gas out, with the gas in being on the lower side. It is now time to turn the oxygen source on to the anesthesia machine. Give it a couple of good turns so that way there's plenty of oxygen flowing through the manifold. As you can see, we're about just under half full. So always make sure there's enough oxygen to complete the verification of the vaporizer. With the Riken FI-8000 left on, we will now turn the flow meter and the vaporizer on. We will adjust the flow meter to at least two and a half liters of flow and turn the vaporizer dial to 1%. Make sure the funnel cap is tight and the drain stem is tight and there's enough agent inside the vaporizer. It should always be checked prior to doing, uh, prior to turning the vaporizer on. On some models of vaporizers, it may be necessary to remove the funnel cap, tighten the drain stem, replace the cap, and tighten. We are now ready to start verifying the output. On the Riken, on this particular unit, the pump runs constantly. So, there is no need to turn the pump on and off. The output numbers are already there. So wait till you wait till they stabilize and take your reading. And in this particular case, they are already stabilized at 0.97%. So we will we will record this value and also make sure you document the serial number and model of the vaporizer. We will now adjust the vaporizer to 2%. And we'll wait until our number stabilizes. This could take a few seconds. Once again, the pump runs constantly, so no, no need to try and turn it on and off. We're at 2.07, 2.08. We will record 2.08 value. We will now adjust the vaporizer to are slowing down some. We're at 3.04, 3.05. We will record 3.05 percent. Now adjust the vaporizer to 4 percent. Verify the readings.
4.18, 4.19. We will record 4.19. and do the last dial setting of 5%. Oh, point two. Five point two eight percent. We will record that setting. And this now completes the verification, the output verification of this particular vaporizer.